What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we're gonna go over my favorite shallow water bait. And I could potentially say it's this one, the spinner bait, but there's a contender in this one, the chatter bait. Both of these have their uses. I use, like to use this one more towards wood and rock, and this one more towards grass. So if I were to pick one, I don't know if I could because they both have good uses. High vibration, high flash and vibration, and lots of clanking noises out of both of them. They both are 3 8 and they both happen to be Guggen Baits. So let's take these underwater and kind of look at them underwater and see the differences between these and which one could potentially be the best shallow water bait or maybe both of them. All right, we got the Guggenbait Zinger on here first. We're gonna give this one a shot and see how it looks underwater. This is just the 3 8 as you see right there. This is a pretty sweet lure. It's one of my favorites, but as you can see, it looks awesome underwater. Man, I love these things. Whether you're in grass or wood or just anywhere with current, these things are killer. Just, uh, I've had so much good luck with these. Fishing these all the time, on the rivers, on the creek. You cannot go wrong with these, and they put off a ton of vibration. If you look at my rod tip, look at my rod tip right there. It's just shaking nonstop as that thing's going through the water. You can imagine what kind of vibration that's putting off down under the water in the flash. All right, let's toss this one out here and bring it back. I mean, it's just so smooth with so much vibration. And those fish are picking up on that. It's almost like a small bait ball in a way. Love these things. Now, whether it's grass, I mean, they're almost year-round lures anymore now. A lot of people used to call them ledge busters, but for shallow lures, the, you cannot beat a spinnerbait. Definitely. So much vibration on these. times just that twitch that difference in the cadence of the retrieve will actually bring fish in but bumping it up against logs pulling it through grass and ripping it free a lot of reaction bikes can be basically used with one of these And then look at that, ripping it right under the surface. Look at that. That is a wake bait for sure. And just ripping it, ripping it hard. All right, let's tie on this chatterbait. All right, this is a 3 8 ounce chatterbait as well, and these things are awesome for in the grass. If you're pulling it through grass and ripping it free, you can get a lot of good reaction bites with these. And just like that spinnerbait, they put out a ton of vibration. All right, let's see the vibration on the rod tip. I mean, look at all that. Vibrating like crazy down there. And they've got a good shimmy if you really look at them. A real good shimmy. Kind of makes that, that skirt flutter somewhat. I've caught some good fish up shallow with one of these as well. So it's kind of kind of takes the place of a, a square bill crankbait sometimes by rattling it all right off of rocks and through grass. I mean the spinnerbait and the chatterbait in their own rights kind of have their different strengths. And the chatterbait, you can add a paddle tail and really buff up that profile of them and really get some good bites, especially in that muddier, dirtier water. 
and just all kinds of vibration out of these with the paddle tail added. All right. Looks good down there. Love the way it looks. It's almost waking right under the surface, which you can wake these as well. You can run these in six inches of water. Or, I mean, super shallow stuff where you wouldn't even think there was a bass. But throwing them up in the grass, up on the on the uh, the banks, basically, and pulling it right out to the edges. Great ways of catching fish. burning it right under the surface, creating that wake out of them. I mean, look at that. Keep your rod tip high, just enough to where that bait's pushing towards the surface. Just like a wake bait. You get that right amount of speed. Great baits for just all kinds of stuff. I love seeing these things underwater and just watching. This is kind of my testing grounds out here and I love seeing the reactions of how these things work under the water and how they sound and just the movement and the little bitty syncrasies of them to try to mimic like a lot of red breasts where I'm at, which would be perfect for this. A lot of bait fish and other stuff with that flash of those blades is perfect for this. So if I'm fishing up shallow and I was to choose one or the other, I would have to have it as a toss-up, almost a tie between these two, because they are such great and effective baits. Uh, you can put paddle tails on them. There's so many different things. You put trailer trailer hooks. You could just do so many different methods and burning them just under the surface or even fishing them deep. But for a best shallow water bait, I'm calling this a tie out of these two. They're just two great baits. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section and I'd love to hear from you guys and thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.